Hello everybody, it's me, Problem017, and today we're going to be doing part 2 with our EV3 robot. Okay, so now let's see what we're going to be doing first. We're going to use this color sensor right there on the robot. Right there. And we're going to make this thing move using a program. And we're going to try making it stop using the color sensor at that blue line right there. So now let's see how to code that. Okay, so the first thing we want to do to make this program is we want to go to the flow control and take out a loop. And this is because we want it to do something until it senses something. So we don't want this to be unlimited anymore. We want to change this and go to color sensor and go to color because we want it to sense color, not reflected light intensity or ambient light in intensity. So let's press on color. And then I have my color sensor at port two. So I'm going to put mine at port two. And the, the color that we're looking for is blue. So let's put blue in and take the red out. And now, what, what do we want it to do for this time? So let's go back to action, and we want it to keep on moving forward until it does it, senses it. So let's get move steering, and let's put that in there. And my ports are B and C, so those are fine. And so now, this should work. Now let's check that. And I'm also going to be connecting my brick using Wi-Fi. Now let's play the code and see if it works. And yes, it did work. So now let's go on to the next project. Okay, so the first thing you want to do to start off this program is you want to get the switch from the flow control area. And now in this, where it says touch sensor, we want to change it to color sensor and we want to go to compare because we want it to change, look at colors. And we want to press color. And now it has it on red right now, but we want it to be on blue. So let's turn off red and now it's on blue. So now what it's asking is, if it is on blue, what do I do? And it's asking that what we want it to do is we want it to make it move forward. So let's put that in there. And what if it's not on blue? What do we do then? We can make it so that it waits for one second or as long as you guys want. And then... We can play this color music kind of thing on the, we can play like this color show kind of thing on the brick. So we can put one of those in, then we can put another weight signal. Let's just get one more weight signal in there like that. And then let's put these in the middle because if we put these all Together, they'll go by so fast that you can't even see the colors going by. So let's have it at yellow, then green, then red. So it'll just go yellow, green, and red once it doesn't sense blue. So now we have this. And if we press play on this, what happens? That it'll just do this, and then it'll stop. And it'll only do it once. We want it to do it every single time until it doesn't sense blue. So all we have to do is we just put a forever loop around this and then this program should work let's go check it out now okay now let's see if this program will work and then let's see if it is the color pattern and yes it does so i put that orange tape in the back so it completely senses a different color and it did. So it stopped moving and it did the color color thing. And now that was a success. And now we can move on to programming and working with the touch sensor. Okay, so the only th we're gonna be doing one task for the touch sensor and that task is we're gonna try making that touch sensor go around that box right there. So it's gonna go up to it, it's gonna go touch sensor it. it's going to go touch it and once it gets pushed in it's going to back up a little bit turn around go one way or the other and then go up and then turn in and cross that orange line if it crosses that orange line that means it is a success 
So now, let's program this. Okay, so now we're going to see the program for the touch sensor. So in the before ones, I fall, I went through it with you guys. But this one, I'm just, I already made it because this one's a pretty big one. And I'm just going to show you guys each step now. So the first step, I use this loop, which has the touch sensor compare state. So you go into the touch sensor and you go to state. And then there's three different states. When the touch sensor is out, when it gets pressed in, or when it gets bumped. We want to keep it in pressed in, and we want it to move forward until it get breath it gets pressed in, and then what we want to do is we want to make this back up, and then we, I did it twice, so it's a good distance away, and then I want it to rotate, so we use this block, and it's a positive seventy five and a negative seventy five twice for it to rotate to the right. And then it moves forward on the right twice. Then it rotates again to the left this time. So it's lined up to the side of the box. The right side of the box. And then I played a leather loop. And it's eight times. It moves forward eight times on the side. And then we turn 50 degrees to the left. Like that. 50, minus 50 degrees and 50 degrees. And we only do that once this time. Then we move forward twice again like usual, then we do the opposite, so it turns back the other way, lined up with the finish line. And then we cross the finish line with the front two moving forwards. So, this is the whole code, and now I'm going to show you guys the robot in action going around the box. Okay, now let's see this robot in action. And there you go it went around the box it went up around the box and then it crossed the finish line so i will call that a success so that was the last thing project that we would do for this video so i hope you guys like this video make sure to like share and subscribe and tell me in the comments below should i use some other pieces and do a part three for this robotics thing and now i'll see you guys in the next video bye